kid, it's just awesome to come and see some people that you look up to and you aspire, hopefully, to be in that same situation. Well, March Madness has arrived in Sacramento. The official tip-off is tomorrow, 11 o'clock in the morning. Oregon taking on Iona. It's the first game of four. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. But people are already gearing up with watch parties and pep rallies all over the city. CBS 13's Unser Hassan is at the Golden One Center, where March Madness is already kicked off. When a number three seed is in town, fans don't hold back. It was devastating the past couple of years, but I think this year, you know, even with some of the injuries that we have, we'll still be able to perform really, really well. Oregon Duck fans are no stranger to NCAA play. This is the team's fifth straight appearance in the tournament, but this time they're looking for a win, and they're getting a big endorsement from an Oregon alum who now plays pro ball with the 49ers. And I think they, they can have a chance to get real deep in the tournament, so I'm excited to watch and see how they do. Meanwhile, back at the Golden One Center, today was open practice for the eight teams here to compete. While the teams practiced their shots, the doors were open to fans and the bands to come out and take part in March Madness. I like basketball, and this is kind of a once in a life thing. The atmosphere is fabulous. It's college basketball at its best. For 10 year old Rodney Shedd, it was a chance to get some autographs and to pick up some skills to help improve his game. Able to pick up handles and how they shoot and like the range and the form. Sacramento was twice denied the chance to host the big dance. This opportunity is not just a win for the city, but basketball fans as well. This is one of the great sporting events in the world, and to get up close, close to the practices, to take part in something as cool as March Madness, it's just, it's great for Sacramento, and I think great for our fans. <laughs> so this is obviously a pretty big event for the city of Sacramento, but it's not just about Sacramento. Don't forget the school down the street in Davis. So yes, how can we forget? The Aggies are making their own basketball history. It is the first time that they have made it to the big dance. They won their first game on Wednesday. They now take on top-seeded Kansas tomorrow in Tulsa.